everyone, Shilpa here with another project, um, a DT project for Wild Orchid Crafts and today I'm going to um, share with you all um, a heart plaque and it's actually a wedding gift and I think my next video is going to be um, a Wild Orchid Crafts tutorial video for a coordinating card that I'm going to do um, for as a part of this gift so um, stay tuned for that but first of all I'm going to, before I show you my project, I'm going to show you guys some of the products that I've used so this is one of my all-time favourite um, mixed um, packs from Wild Orchid Crafts and it's the Mixed Pink and White Curly Wild Roses and um, these are 45mm MKX673 is the code and these are super super gorgeous flowers I'm going to just get this for now because I've used the rest of these on my project and you can see it's just a beautiful beautiful rose and I love the quality of the mulberry paper used on these and I just love all the colours in this pack. So you've got a mixture of pinks and there's also a bunch of white in there. Um, to go with that I also used these two-tone um, baby white and baby pink centre open roses and these are 10mm FM 00216 I'm sure, I think that code has changed um, if not it will be that otherwise I'll put the correct one below and these are really really beautiful tiny little shabby roses I also used a pack of these which are the ivory rosebuds and these are 4mm ones GST004 is the code and I love these love them as fillers and they're just so so dainty and adorable um, I also use some vintage seam binding from Wild Orchid Crafts and this one is the pink salmon colour MKX483 is the code for this one and um, this is my project so as I said it is a gift for somebody and this is what it looks like so it is beautiful <laughs> and um, I love all the layers and what I basically did is a heart frame this is the reverse of it and I think I got this from range if I'm not mistaken and what I did I got out my um, applique stash and I covered the whole of the base of the heart in different appliques pearled ones beaded ones and I just layered one on top of the other just to create um, this heart shape on top of the actual wooden heart and there are a few bits and pieces that are just hanging off which I left because I thought it looked nice and the sun's just decided to go down um, and on the base of it it's actually glass I left the glass in because I mean you can't see it on the film but it is it does glimmer a bit when um, the light hits it so I left the glass in there and added a white doily on the base of that um, on top of the doily, this is a mannequin die cut from the Kanban Shabby Chic collection which I have been using up. <laughs> I've used it for loads of my projects recently because I absolutely love that collection and I think I might get myself um, another one because if you know me, you know I love mannequins and I love Shabby Chic. So um, basically what I did there was, um, this is a die cut piece in the centre and I just made this skirt out of some of this um, pink tool trim and I added a beautiful little rose there, kind of mimics that one on the top there and it's so tiny and cute, I love it. If I wanted to make it smaller I could have taken the outer layer off and made it more tiny but I think it looked just perfect. Um, so for the flower clusters, as you can see, it's very pink and shabby and basically it's just those large um, wild roses and behind those I've just took some of these fabric flowers with the stamens and um, some leaves from um, an artificial um, plant that I had and then these are the beautiful clusters of the rosebuds. And on this side I've done the same thing but it's a smaller cluster of flowers so you can see the large one here and then I've added two of the small roses here and then on top of these leaves I've got the rosebuds and Wild Orchid Crafts do stock large um, leaves as well which I don't have um, at the moment I do need to place an order for those but I'll put the link for the large leaves that resemble these um, below so you can get the code for that if you wanted some leaves 
but I think all in all it came out as a gorgeous little project and as I said um, I'm going to try my best to do a tutorial on a card um, to match this so it'll be a nice little set a card and this hanging plaque and um, so stay tuned for that video and um, so that's it for now thank you so much for watching let me know what you guys think of this beautiful one here and um, as always the codes will be below as well as all the links to Wild Orchid Crafts and um, thank you for your time in watching my videos and thank you so much for always leaving comments I do really appreciate it all and um, hope you all have a wonderful day take care and I'll see you soon bye